Hello, my name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're looking at the AMD Athlon 2 X3 435 Tricore processor. This is the AMD Athlon 2 X3 435 Tricore processor. It operates at a speed of 2.9 GHz and maintains a TDP of 95 watts. It comes with a 128-bit wide memory controller, supports up to 800 MHz DDR2 or 1066 MHz DDR3. It's based around the 45 nanometer technology and has 512 kilobytes of L2 data cache, which totals 1.5 megabyte per processor. As AMD have developed, they still haven't actually changed the design of their processors. It still has this shim on top with all of the various details. And by looking around on the internet, you can type in the codes that you can see on here and it will tell you exactly what they mean in regards to model numbers, wattage and voltages. Because this is an AM3 processor, of course it does use 938 pins. As we all know, the AMD's biggest competition is, of course, Intel. And when looking at Intel's range of processors, the one that's going to come out and is going to be pitted against the Tricore 435 is obviously going to be the Core 2 Duo E7400. But looking at the price difference, the Intel is a lot more expensive. Having a look at the uh, retailers that we actually trust in the UK, the cheapest price that I could find for this product was £65.67 and, and that was at eBuyer. I've got to admit, I think this is an absolutely fantastic chip. For the money, it's absolutely amazing. You get a tri-core processor, and according to rumours on the internet, there is a possibility of unlocking the fourth core, making this a fully-fledged quad-core for around half the price of, of what the equivalent quad-core would be. Looking at the price comparison compared to the Intel processor, the Core 2 Duo 7400, uh, this does come out on top once again. Looking at the benchmarks, you can see that some of the results were really, really impressive. So because of all of this, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> 